I am here with Mr. John Gringo, and we are going to take a few minutes to talk about our recent tour and travels to Cuba. Now, John, I think the first question that people have is, how do you get to Cuba? That was what everyone right. asked us. Well, for a lot of people, it's not a big deal. It's just those of us in the United States. Correct. It's been illegal to go there. And the door has kind of squeaked open. And basically, there's a small little provision that says if you go for educational reasons, it's allowed. And so our trip was an educational trip. And so we had a lot of little social interactions with people. We went to ballet studios and baseball games and workshops and a variety of other things. People to people, people right. to people cultural exchange as they call it. So it was an incredible, incredible opportunity. And what we wanted to talk about this morning um, in the guise of talking about Cuba is about the differences and what we see, right. and that people travel together, we traveled together in the same locations. And when John started to look at my images after the fact, and he said, you are on a completely different trip. <laughs> and that just made me think, even though we were in the same place, it's still, for photography, it's still your vision. It's still your personality coming out. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, we were on the same trip. Occasionally, we walked down different streets. Uh, but I, frankly, I was a little jealous of some of the things you saw. It's like, oh, I wish I was there for that one. <laughs> Same for you. And you actually, it was cool because you acknowledged that in the beginning of the trip um, to our 12 people that you're all going to be jealous of each other in a way right. in that when you see each other's pictures, but make the most of your experience. And again, because well, we're going to take a look at some of our images from that same location where you saw something completely different. And I just love that about photography. Right. Uh, we just picked out about, a, I don't know, a dozen photographs or so. And I just wanted to show some of the differences between maybe the way I saw it or what yeah. you saw or the moment that we happened to be there. And so a lot of our traveling in Cuba was just walking the streets of Havana. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. uh, this was an image just of a very colorful building that I thought was interesting. And I waited there for just a couple of minutes just to kind of wait for some sort of coincidence or something weird happened with the three characters that you see here. And I didn't realize it, but I don't know if you were on the same little walk that I was, exactly. but you went by the same building. Exactly. And I got that and I took that. And so you can see that I, I personally, I've got the same, the dog and the woman looking the same direction. Whereas you have them, got them looking the other way with the extra door and the other guy. So right. I, I just think it's so cool. The same spot, but a different Completely a different, different vision. vision of how yeah. it works, yeah. Uh, a big part of going to Cuba is the old cars. And there's a lot of old cars that are in great shape and a lot of cars that are in really bad shape. And I thought this was a great little spot where, you know, they, I don't know, they, it's, these cars have almost been abandoned there. Right. I think they're being worked on and they're just kind of left out in the street. But you could see the flat tire. And then later there was a guy actually, yeah, under the yeah. hood there. And then you found this great one. Right, right. That again, just propped up on the street. Um, and um, you can, you know, it's, it's so symbolic because the, in Cuba, they just are always creating and so um, have so much ingenuity in terms of using things that that you we might throw away in this country but right. are actually um, yeah yeah are, I mean for me for me this just says that the repair projects take a long time to work through yeah. Yeah. This was one of my favorite photos. Uh, we were actually waiting for another event and I found this nice little alley and there's just a lot of, you know, walking the streets and finding interesting things. And what I did here is I found these interesting blue doors mm -hmm. and I waited there for 15 minutes for something. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, just something kind of interesting. And I shot a lot of pictures of people walking by, but it was these two kids that were running and kind of laughing. And that's going so not street. my style to sit there and wait for 15 minutes. Well, I knew it had a good payoff. I knew, I knew the background was really good. It's, it's beautiful. And in terms of the streets, um, this just, there was so much life there, um, but there's no, I wasn't showing any people. Um, but these streets had so much hanging off, and um, I just, I loved the perspective of that Those as well. Those colonial buildings are yes. just so amazing. Yes. And we got to go to a workshop, which was one of the great things about being part of the People to People Tour. Uh, some people see it kind of as a a bad thing because right. then you have the schedule that you got to go to. Right. But for photographers, it's fantastic because you get inside access to go meet people doing things that are interesting. And so there was a whole restoration project where these uh, young men and women are learning how to restore projects and 
all sorts of buildings and other, and, and other things in Cuba. Exactly. Exactly. So... I mean, I was standing 10 feet from you and I didn't see the shot. <laughs> I think it's great. That's what's so cool. We got to go to a, a boxing gym, which had a number of boxing kids and, and young adults who were learning how to box. And oh, this woman was tough. She was just She was tough. the only female uh, professional level boxer in Cuba. And um, I just, I, there was all these kids as yeah. well, but we both, we both were drawn to her. Well, I, I really like her yellow top yeah. and this blue background because those have okay. a nice kind of magical yeah. quality that work together. And I was really focused on wanting to get the eye, the eye connection. Yeah. Um, you can really see the sweat on her face because she was exactly. really working out and it was very, very hot. Exactly. Exactly. And then we had a great evening down on the Malacan, which mm -hmm. is the seawall, mm -hmm. right? I mean, if you could look to the right far enough, you'd see Florida. Right. Uh, <laughs> and we got just a little bit of really nice light as a wave crashed over uh, one of the outer walls there. And you had a tripod and I did not. Right. So you were able to get <laughs> that long, expo longer exposure. Um, and then a little, yeah. bit, little bit later, I mine. love this kind of that blue in the sky yeah. and those orange lights. Yeah. And then on the streets, kind of funny little story, uh, the dogs have photo ID, so that dog is wearing an ID badge with a picture of, of its itself, face. <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> which I think is great. And this again is the streets, um, you know, a different view. I'm always looking for people. Mm -hmm. And even though there are a lot of dogs, I didn't capture that many dogs. So let's just, yeah, let's breeze on through. And uh, just the, the textures are amazing yeah. on the street. More of your people. people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Twins that you found. Uh, the, the cars and the, the state that they're in, this is Kenna's shot. Yes. And I have a very similar shot from another car. In fact, we thought that maybe they were the same car, but <laughs> different license yeah. plates. Here's yes. our, our boxing gym that we went to and your baseball shot. Yep. And working on the cars, the taxi cabs. That's yours, that, that yeah. one, last one was yours, yeah. and this one is mine. Um, so I just, to, to wrap it up, I just think it's so um, amazing that as photographers, uh, we get to show people our experience of the same place, um, but through our own eyes. And you know what, this makes me, when I look at these photos, it makes me want to go back, because yes. I realized that I could go on the entire <laughs> trip again and end up with a whole new set of photos.